In this time, I will demonstrate you how to crochet a cord bracelet with beads. It can be the base for other jewelry. In this case, I did it with picos. And in this case, I have made without pico and with long beads. Let's begin the work. For work you need a ball of yarn, crochet hook and beads. You can use round beads or long beads. Begin the work by making a chain of four. One, two, three, four. The foundation chain is ready and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch. The ring is ready. Then nine single crochet into the ring. Make a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We skip the first chain stitch, insert the hook into the first single crochet by making a slip stitch. Round 1 is made, pull up the working loop, remove the hook, take a bit, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain, chain of 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till you will get 30 chains. The length of the cord you determine by yourself. I have done 30 chains. Chain of three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Single crochet into the second chain stitch away from the hook. And the second single crochet into the next stitch. Turn the work. Chain. Insert the hook into the single crochet by making single crochet and single crochet through the next stitch. Pull up the working loop, remove the hook, take a bit, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through. Turn the work, make a chain with bead, then chain of 5 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert the hook into the single crochet. by making a slip stitch. Work a slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn the work. 
I will be making eight half double crochet with picots. As you can see, I insert the hook into the chain space and yarn. Like this. Make the first half double crochet. Make chain 3 for the pico. And work a slip stitch into two loops of the half double crochet. The first one is ready. Make seven more. Two. And pico. Three. Four five six and pickles. The seventh one and pico and the eighth one. We have done eight half double crochet with picos, then make two half double crochet more. One and two. The first segment is ready. For example, I have done the exact segment without picos. Here how it looks. We we'll continue the work, make a chain, turn the work, insert the hook into the first stitch by making a single crochet. Insert the hook into the next stitch by making single crochet. Pull up the working loop. Remove the hook, take a bead, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through, make a chain with bead, a chain of 5 for the chain space, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert the hook into the single crochet by making a slip stitch. Then make the next slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn the work. Then I will be making half double crochet with picots. I will begin and you will continue by yourself. As you remember, I insert the hook into the chain space and yarn. Make the first half double crochet, chain 3 for the pico, insert the hook into two loops of the half double crochet by making a slip stitch. 
In total, it should be eight of them. We have just done eight half double crochet with picots. Make two half double crochet, one and two. Two rounds of work, chain, then single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Pull up the working loop, remove the hook, take a bead, put it on the hook. Take the working loop, pull it through. Turn the work, make a chain with bead. Chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Work a slip stitch into the first single crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch turn the work then you should make eight half double crochet with picots the length of the cord you determine by yourself the cord is almost ready Let's complete it together. I will be making the chain made of 30 chains on this side. After we have done the last segment of the cord, make a chain, make single crochet and single crochet through the next stitch. Thirty chains one, two, three, four, five, and so on till you will get thirty chains. We have just done thirty chains. Take a bead, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain with bead. Now we need to complete the work. Chain. Then four chains more. One. Two, three, and four. Insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook by making a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch, take the working yarn, pull it through. By making the second slip stitch, make nine single crochet into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Insert the hook into the chain stitch by making a slip stitch. Mm -hmm. 
The cord is made. I have already cut off the yarn. We need to remove yarns. Today we have learned how to crochet a beautiful cord bracelet with beads. Or it can be the base for the necklace. As you remember we have done cords by the both sides. For example, I sew clap and lobster glow that you will see how it looks like a bracelet. Like this. You can make it for 20 minutes. For demonstration I have done the exact cord without picos and with long beads. For more video tutorials please visit our website sharerknitting.com. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials which are published every week. Only at sharerknitting.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharerknitting.com. Thanks for watching.